What's up world, it's your boy Drew Marcy here for How To Rap, and in this video, we're gonna give you a little bit of motivation with nine signs that you're getting better at rapping. Over nearly a decade over the past few years, I've been coaching rappers, and I wanted to make this list for somebody to know that they're quote unquote getting it when it comes to improving their rap skills by giving you this list. And the best part about this list is that anybody can reach any of these, no matter what your experience level is, from beginner to advanced rap artist. So everything in this list uh, can hit at different points in your development as a rapper. So let's get it. Now, before we begin, the best sign that you're getting better at rapping is, of course, being subscribed to this channel with notifications because we drop weekly videos on everything related on learning how to rap. And of course, be sure that you've checked out our brand new video course, Song in 60 Minutes, designed specifically for you to be able to write professional level rap songs on command in under an hour or less anytime you'd like by visiting the first link in the video description box below. Now, number nine sign that you're getting better at rapping is you wake up in the morning with original music in your head. I wanted to start off with this because it's a really good sign that you're getting somewhere with this rap thing, regardless of your skill levels and artists. When I began taking rap more seriously, I began to notice when I woke up or started daydreaming, choruses, entire lines of rap, or even beats would just pop into my head while my mind was wandering. I think the reason for this happening is that once you've been rapping a lot and restructuring your brain to think in music, your mind starts to get into a hyper creative mode where you now create music almost automatically without trying. I use the word original music in this sign because it's important to know that you should be hearing your ideas for music stuck in your head as opposed to just waking up with somebody else's song on the radio stuck in your head because everybody, even musicians, get popular songs stuck in their head. But if you get your music stuck in your head, original music, that's an amazing sign that you're getting better at rapping. Number eight sign that you're getting better at rapping is it's hard to focus on conversations because you're thinking of rhymes. This is somewhat similar to number nine, but the difference is that it's more rhyme focused and it's a sign that lyrically you are starting to advance from beginner to intermediate. Intermediate and advanced rappers have again restructured their brain through repetition and drilling to think of rhymes quicker than a beginner. One of the main signs of being a beginner or out of practice as a rapper is that thinking of rhymes is harder than somebody who's more experienced. So if you're somebody that can create rhymes quickly and automatically, even mid conversation, it's a great sign that you're getting better as a rapper. Eminem is notably on record as saying that he often struggles to focus on normal day-to-day -day conversation because his gut reaction is to think of a million rhymes based on the last thing a person looking at him is saying. Again, no pressure here by telling this story to you for you to have the expectation that you need to be zoned out on rhymes is slim shady, especially not right now and man's been rapping 20, 30 years, but understand that many of the GOAT level rappers have minds that have been rewired to think in rhyme form. So if you find yourself thinking that way, that's a great sign you're getting better at rapping. Sign number seven that you're getting better at rapping is you can no longer listen to famous rap the same. Building on number eight's point about making it hard to focus after you're getting better at rapping, after I started writing rap more regularly and really became immersed in the obsession to become an expert rapper, I could not listen to rap songs without thinking about the fundamental components that it takes to become a professional artist. To this day, whenever I'm in a club or a social event where there's loud music playing, I definitely struggle, much like Eminem with the rhymes, to focus on whatever conversation I'm having because I'm subconsciously trying to follow the order of the song and see if I can't steal any ideas from that track even when I'm out in public. So are you a person yet that subconsciously picks out the fundamental components of great rapping while listening to the music? Fundamental components like great song structure, unexpected rhyme choice, and witty lines. Just to break down how that might feel a little bit, when it comes to great song structure, it's a sign you're getting better at rapping when your first gut reaction on hearing a banging new track is, that's a fantastic chorus. Let me listen a little bit more intently to see how they structured it, and why they decided to place it in that particular part of the beat. The reason this would be important for you to hone in on is because every great rapper makes a very focused decision on why to place the chorus in a certain place to improve the chances it comes off as catchy to the audience. Additionally, having unexpected rhymes and witty lines also helps the song to come off as original and something new and fresh to the listener. So the better that you actually get at paying attention to the song's fundamental components as a reflex, the more likely you are to get better at rapping. Sign number six that you're getting better at rapping is friends introduce you as a rapper. This is a huge sign you're improving as a rapper, and a good analogy might be if you started going to the gym to get swole, the first few weeks nobody would notice the difference, even if you did, but after you put in that time and consistently, you start hearing comments like, you look like you go to the gym, or hey man, do you work out? Or even your friends would start saying things like, I'm just trying to get swole like you, dog. A very similar phenomenon 
phenomenon happens when you start getting better as a rapper. Eventually, when you're dope enough, your friends will say things like, this is so-and-so, my homie, he a rapper, you should check him out. Or probably the best example is when you're a male watching this and your male homies tell a hot girl that you are a rapper. Because that's pretty much shooting himself in the foot game-wise if he makes you look cooler than him to a girl he's interested in, but he can't help it because you're getting better. Overall, if you want to get good enough as a rapper, eventually people will want to brag about knowing you because it will make them look better for being your friend. So watch out for that sign. Sign number five, you're getting better as a rapper is you play music for your family and they actually brag about it. Now this one's a little bit tricky because of course we all know family members who no matter what, will want you to be a doctor or lawyer. So you need to experiment with a large number of family members. But look, after I took music very seriously and have been doing it for a while, I can remember my stepfather coming down to the basement while I was making a song and he looked like he had just discovered gold down there. Even if there isn't an overt statement by the parent or family members that you're gonna make it, look for the signs of increasing interest in your devotion to rap as you get better and better at rapping. Pro tip. Make a few tracks that are more family friendly to entice them to support you. That may mean a track that literally has no curses, but if you're from the East Coast like I am, I mean, cursing ain't a deal breaker, but regardless, make some tracks your fam will likely think is cool to help along with this process. Sign number four that you're getting better at rapping is friends ask you to rap at random points. This is another common occurrence once you start to become pretty good at rap. Similar to friends introducing you as a rapper to make themselves look cool, when you're getting better at rapping, they ask you to rap at parties, y'all are chilling or whatever. Essentially what has happened is your rapping has gotten to a point that it's something of value you can offer to others. And that's really the first waypoint you wanna reach in order to call yourself a rap artist. Often as a coach, when people ask me about marketing secrets or branding or how to make money from rap, I have to slow them down and explain to them the first thing they need to do is make sure that their music is something of value to the public because no amount of marketing will promote something people don't want. I could put two scoops of dog doo-doo into a Louis Vuitton purse and try to sell it to you as a gift for your girlfriend, but I doubt she's gonna want it because dog doo-doo is of no value to her. Marketing is like the Louis Vuitton purse and bad music is like the dog doo-doo. Moral of the story is make sure your music is of value to others. Sign number three that you're getting better at rapping is you find famous rappers you think you can take. This one can get a little dangerous because we all know delusional rappers who think they're better than everyone else. But if you start hearing songs on the radio often that you know how rappers made it, how they thought of the rhymes, how they structured the song, that's a good sign that you're getting better. No, there is a crucial difference between thinking you're better and knowing how to do what they do. You can think you're a better boxer than Floyd Mayweather and still get beat up. If you know how to reproduce Mayweather's moves in a boxing ring, you're starting to get better at boxing. Same thing here. Sign number two that you're getting better at rapping is you start canceling things to go rap. This is another underrated sign that up and coming rappers need to take heed of. Of the people who come to me for coaching, something like half of them as a coach, I think want me to motivate them to go rap. That's not how art works. John Lennon didn't need to be motivated to pick up a guitar. Picasso didn't need to be motivated to pick up a paintbrush. John Lennon ignored other things in his life to get better at music. Picasso stopped doing other things to make art. I'm sure for those geniuses, it became easier and easier to cancel other parts of their life once they got good. Same thing with you. Once you start wanting to do rap more than other things, you're getting better because you are self-motivated by your skills improving, not somebody telling you that you should do it. And last sign that you're getting better at rapping is people start asking if you have music for sale. I saved the most common sign for the last. Most videos that cover this topic start with this and I wanted to make sure that I gave you some more original experience notes before going to something so obvious. And yes, it should be obvious that if people are paying for your music, you're getting better. But again, it surprises me how many people try to research marketing, copywriting, branding, when they have no evidence anybody wants to pay for their services, which in this case, your service is music. So if you are being asked consistently, where can people buy your music? You're clearly on your way to get better as an artist. Be sure to always keep that in mind when your mind is telling you to watch more music marketing tips. The streets will tell you when you're ready. You can't just tell it for yourself. That's food for thought. Now, I wanna see you in the comments. Which of the nine signs have you experienced before? Which of the ones do you hope to experience in 2021 and 2022? We have a great community here of comments in the How to Rap Nation. So I wanna see you in there, get to chatting. Which of the nine signs have you experienced before? Which of the ones do you hope to experience in 2021 and 2022? And of course, be sure to check out that course if you wanna make them hits on demand. But regardless, I appreciate your time. It's the big homie, Drew.